Today we're going to talk about lung conditions in horses. Horses' lungs can be a big cause of poor performance, most especially in the older competition eventer show jumping horse. Recurrent airway obstruction, or COPD as it used to be called, is as old as the hills. It's been reported in antiquity. It's usually associated with horses that are stabled, and it is more common in horses, the older horses, and we see it predominantly in the winter months and the early spring months when horses are mainly stabled. Horses that are stabled are exposed to an awful lot of inflammatory agents. There are toxins, moles, dust particles, aspergillus, ammonia, that are all in the air environment the horse breeds in. And no matter how clean and hygienic the stable, horses are exposed to a certain amount of these mites and dust particles. These cause irritation in the lungs, and what is more worrying is aspergillus can actually set up a kind of a hypersensitivity or allergic reaction. This leads on to horses getting shortness of breath, especially during exercise. These dust particles and allergens in the environment that the horse breeds in causes constriction of the airways. Ordinarily a horse has good wide open airways and if you get a hypersensitivity or allergic reaction they constrict down when he's breathing and this means he gets short of breath especially when in competition. It leads on to deposition of cells into the airways which produces mucus and over a period of time this can lead to long-term damage to horses and ultimately can lead to broken windedness. Symptoms of horses with recurrent airway obstruction is the primary one is to become exercise intolerant. They come out of breath when you're canting them around or in a competition. They just can't get enough breath to complete. They take a long time to recover and they're heaving. Often they will cough early in the morning or be cough at tea time. Sometimes in the morning you will see phlegms of mucus outside the stable door where the horse has coughed them up overnight. Uh, the other thing too is at rest, oh, you should never be able to notice a horse breathing. Horse in a stable, you will hardly see him breathing. But if you can see some horses where they have an obvious heave line when they're breathing, and you can actually count their breaths by looking at that heave line, that is an indication that your horse may be suffering from a recurrent airway obstruction or maybe inflammatory airway disease. The other way of diagnosing is obviously through your veterinary surgeon who will auscultate the horse's chest. He can do a lung wash to look at the cells inside the lung and, and that will help you know determine the degree of recurrent airway obstruction that's there. We can scope the horse looking for mucus and also we can do lung function tests. But Primarily, most competition riders are quite aware of this problem. In fact, most older horses will have a degree of recurrent airway obstruction. So, and it'll be on a scale from maybe 1 to 100. The 100 being the really bad cases, the 1 being the very mild cases. So every horse is prone to it to some degree, and certainly horses that are being kept in stables. Treatment for horses with recurrent airway obstruction, or COPD, uh, can be relatively simple. I mean one of the most important things is fresh air and the environment the horse is in and sometimes you have to have them out in the field all of the time so they're not in contact with the allergens that are in a stable environment. Otherwise within the stable you have to have very good ventilation. You need to be looking at the type of bedding the horse is on, trying to avoid the, the, the mites and pollen and dust associated maybe with mouldy straw or even good quality straw to some degree some horses can be allergic to. So you have to work on the type of bedding, feeding, the hay needs to be well soaked or steamed or in some cases horses need to be put on to horse age rather than hay because there's no doubt hay and straw will get more accumulation of these allergens than other types of bedding and feedstuffs. Dampening, dampening down the feed. These, these are all management conditions that will certainly help but they will not eliminate the problem. It's also important to note that if you have a horse with this problem and you, and, you, and you change the management, it can take up to three to four weeks before you'll start to see an improvement. In many cases, management of the stable environment is not enough to solve it. And in that case, we have to look at you know, medications to try and help open up the airways. Traditionally, medications involve the use of 
oral bronchodilators such as drugs maybe as clenbuterol that was ventipulmin um, and also we have oral corticosteroids mucolytics various compounds to try and help shift mucus from the lungs and open up the airways these were all relatively in, in, inefficient and only helped in a small degree the other problem with oral medications is you have to give quite high dosages of corticosteroids for example orally so that enough will reach the lung tissue to have an effect this lack of efficiency of oral medications in controlling COPD or recurrent airway obstruction has led to the development of other methods of administering the drug namely nebulizing medications nebulizers have been around for nearly 20 years but the earlier models have always been cumbersome, fragile, awkward to use and relatively inefficient. And it's really only in the past year that an Irish company, Nortev, who have developed a new type of nebulizer called FlexiNeb, which is compact, is robust, light, flexible, very easy to use, long lasting and efficient. Um, and this has really revolutionized our ability to administer drugs to horses lungs we can administer a range of things from low dose corticosteroids where you can give up to 25 percent of the dose that you would have to use orally to get the same effect um, we can use bronchodilators we can use mucolytics saline a whole range of medications to open up the airways shift mucus and decrease allergic reactions here we have a middle-aged stallion that has some mucus in his lungs and we're going to try to put the nebulizer on for the first time and we'll just show you how he takes to it there's a fella oh, that's a boy that's a it needs to be nice and snug yeah. and you need to make sure for the first time it's put on that the valve is open here at the bottom just so he gets the hang of it and gets relaxed with it and is happy about it it's comfortable for the horse to wear and it makes very little noise when he's breathing through it so he generally speaking take it very quickly so now that he's happy and comfortable we can close off the bottom valve and we can turn on the nebulizer so it means he's only breathing through this valve here and taking the drug in with every breath and he expires out through the bottom And it almost makes no sound so therefore he's very relaxed doesn't the noise doesn't upset him this plastic molding over the nose piece is flexible so if he did happen to swing his head around and hit it off something he's very likely to, not very unlikely to do any damage and it's, it's robust and compact it very efficiently produces aerosolization and in about 10 minutes you'll have nebulized 10 mils of a solution in here at the moment we have 10 mils of saline with a few drops of eucalyptus oil which is really good for shifting mucus hmm? there's a big exhale yeah he's relaxed and happy it's not worrying him And the ultrasonic, ultrasonic valve and the nebulizer is so efficient that it gets the optimum size of molecule that it gets right down to the lowest airways of the lung. Here we have the nebulizer off the horse's nose and it's just to demonstrate the very fine aerosol that is being produced. And we can actually smell the eucalyptus in that saline solution it's a very fine mist there are a whole variety of 
drugs that can be used to shift mucus and another one that we highly recommend is one called balsamic air and it's produced by a French company Audivard. It is prescription only and has to be uh, prescribed by your vet but it's a mixture of seven essential oils and it really is efficient at shifting mucus and maintaining horses health, healthy airways. The mechanics of the nebulizer is really ingenious, it's very simple, very straightforward, but it's designed so efficiently and ingeniously that it's small and compact. And we get very fine, the way it works is you get very fine vibrations at the bottom of this little chamber here, and we can see the bubbles that are being produced within the fluid, and then this is being converted into an aerosol in this chamber, which comes out through the nose piece. It's very quick and efficient. We've been using this product for over a year now and I've been very happy with the results and we're very confident to recommend it to our clients, whether they be racehorse trainers, competition riders, um, a whole range, a whole range of conditions. So it really has revolutionized nebulization in horses in our view.